So here we are, clamming in New Hampshire in the middle of winter. All right, so right in the center of the frame here, there is a significant sized clam hole. That might be the biggest uh, soft shell clam I've ever dug. It's a big one. Big ones tend to be kind of tough. So, uh, you know, if you can, find a spot with a lot of small ones, you're probably a little better off. If you look carefully, you can see some holes here. Clam hole, clam hole, clam hole. These are pretty decent size. Usually the size of the opening on the surface is proportionate to the size of the actual clam you'll find inside. So that would be a good one to dig, that one. That one there, that one there. There are a lot of them pretty close together here. You don't find that very often in New Hampshire. More than digging almost now, I just enjoy being out here. Because New Hampshire, the coastline is beautiful. Uh, regardless of where you go, but anywhere in the bay, you're surrounded by just awesome rocks and trees and seaweed. And I love the smell. I love walking along the coast. I love all of it. It's a great, great experience if you ever get a chance to be on the New Hampshire coastline. We don't have a lot of it, but enjoy it. You're going to get mostly soft shell clams. They're going to look like that. You clean them up, they've got a whitish gray uh, coating to their shell. Every once in a while, you might get one of these guys here. Like I just dug, this is a razor clam. They're longer. Still good. Cook them the same way. They're a little harder to dig without breaking because they're so long and skinny. Got another razor clam here. If you get the top of them, if you pull up, you see they want to just dig back down. You gotta break the suction a little, and there she is. Ta -da. These are all clam holes. That one looks like a jumbo clam right there. Out of that hole, I bet there's a huge clam. Let's see if we can dig it. So we want to start. The ground's frozen solid. And it's rocky, so this might be a challenge. Let's see, get back the top layer frozen. And then the digging should, in theory, get easier. There are some smaller clams in there. We'll leave those size. Anything this small, I don't take. I leave it. I'll put it back in when I put this dirt back. Almost got it. And there she is. So a lot of work for one little clam. And we got this one, we'll put it back in there. Neck facing up. Make sure I don't crush it. Or smother it. This is what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. Winter clamming <laughs> at its finest. This is the kind of haul you can only get in the depths of winter here in New Hampshire. I pity those summer clamors. Fair weather clamors. Another uh, pretty important piece of clamming gear would be either an onion sack or 
some sort of mesh bag like this to rinse the clams after you dig them. Because like I said a gazillion times already, New Hampshire clams are covered in mud, full of rocks. You want to get as much of that off as possible.